What's up guys, uh, this is Isaac from Tech2 here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a different tutorial, how to charge any USB device with uh, solar panels and turn it into a little portable solar charger. So without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, first things first, we're going to go over the materials. You need a uh, Altoids tin. This one is just a tin. It's got a clear film on the top. Um, you can buy these off Amazon. I would recommend this rather than just an Altoids tin. It's easier to work with this. Um, next thing is you need a wire stripper. You can have any kind. This is a pretty cheap one. You can have a really fancy one. Um, and yeah, so you need that to strip your wires. If that doesn't uh, suffice, um, you can always use a knife. It's not as good. You may cut some of the, the strands of wire or, um, you know, it's just not as great, but feel free to use that as well. We also need a roll of electrical tape to tape up our connections, make sure they're secure. We need a roll of two different colors of wire, preferably. Um, this is, uh, I think, 22 gauge. You can have 20 to 24 should be... Uh, a good good range of wire sizing. This is solid core. It can be either solid or stranded. Stranded would be better. I couldn't find any so I got solid core. Um, you need one 9 volt battery connector and just make sure you have two wires coming out of it, positive and negative. You need one uh, solar panel. This is a 4 volt 100 milliamp solar panel. It says right there on the back. Um, you can always get more solar panels. You can always get a different kind. This is just the one I'm going to be using. You also need a diode. This is four diodes. Um, you need uh, the right diode for the right amount of solar panel voltage you're putting out and right amount of uh, amperage you're putting out from the solar panels. You need four or two uh, rechargeable batteries. I got mine all off Amazon. These are um, 1.2 volt, 1900 milliamp, uh, uh, milliamp hour batteries, rechargeable ones. You need a five volt um, USB board and um, what you what you need here is to solder. I've already done it. Um, a negative wire onto the negative side, and a positive wire onto the positive side, and then you're ready to go here. Last but not least, you need a uh, battery holder. I've just got this one. Uh, all four batteries just fit nicely in there, and you know, and then uh, the nine volt battery connector goes right on the end here. So, uh, those are the materials, and let's get started into building this bad boy. So, our first step here, we're going to take our um, little battery holder here, and we're going to take our 9-volt battery connector and just hook it right on here. And then, we need to strip these ends of the wires if they're not already stripped. So, you're going to take your wire stripper, um, put it in the correct gauge here. This is 22 gauge wire so I'm going to put it in the uh, 20 to 22 gauge. Clamp down, pull, get a stripped wire. So here you can see I've got two stripped wires now. Um, so next step. So your second step you want to um, solder. I've already done it but you want to solder the positive and negative wires down on your little uh, 5 volt board here and it should say um, it should be labeled the negative side it should say uh, 1N negative or N1 negative uh, or N1 positive 1N positive it should be labeled positive and negative so you should know where to solder it so then you have the wires come off and make sure to strip these. I'll do that quick. Um, you also want to get your solar panel wires and you want to strip these down. 
Um, and not too much, you just want to have enough that you can uh, solder them together or uh, if you have an electrical connector um, you want to you want to splice them together then do that. So uh, I'll be right back, I'm going to do that. So for step three um, we're just going to lay everything out and understand how it all works before we put it into the um, the little Altoids tin. So on the far left we're going to have our solar panel and that's going to run into a blocking uh, Shkadi diode and that's going to uh, connect to both our battery pack with our four 1.2 volt batteries and our uh, USB uh, little controller here. So um, the diode is the important part here. You need to look at your diode and hopefully find a little um, silver strip here. Now you want to have your silver strip on the same side. You want to connect the silver strip side to your battery pack and your USB charger. Now um, this is because you want voltage to be able to flow from your solar panel into your battery pack and to your USB uh, connector but you do not want voltage to flow back through the battery pack out to the solar panel because solar panels will suck up charge if they don't have any sunlight on them so that's a big big thing make sure you have your diode facing the right way and if you're not sure look it up online um, I'll put a link down in the description all about diodes and which way you need to have yours facing so it's not sucking current. Okay, so for step four, you want to connect your solar panel. I had two solar panels, so I put the one that fit better um, underneath here. I took it off an old solar panel phone case that I had uh, bought. You could, so um, if this is the one you were using, you could have just put that right here or you can you can always leave it out you don't have to have it inside the case I'm gonna put two together I'm gonna have this one and this one both wired together I'm gonna have that one in there and this one outside the case that way I'll get even more uh, voltage and amperage but um, I'm gonna this is what I did here is I just took some tape I taped the solar panel right over that uh, clear film on the, the Altoids can or tin and um, it's ready to ready to go and ready to suck up some sunlight and you can use both electrical tape or duct tape for this it's not a huge deal because um, I mean as so long as you have the connections taped up it doesn't matter if you're taping or so long as you have the connections taped up with the electrical tape it doesn't matter if you have duct tape over any of these already coated wires that doesn't matter so uh, let's move on to the next thing. I forgot to mention one step so I'm going to edit this part in. Make sure um, before you start putting stuff together that you get uh, a little hole here cut out for your little USB guy here to fit through. I gotta kind of wiggle mine. There we go. And then see then you just plug your phone in right there and charge it. So make sure you don't forget to put that guy in there. Okay, so before we uh, finalize and get soldering, we just want to double check our connections again. We have our battery pack positive and our USB positive hooking up together to the silver ringed side of the diode and then the black side of the diode hooking up to the positive of our solar panel. Because I have two, I'm wiring my solar panels in what's called parallel. I uh, connect one of the positives to the negative of the other solar panel, so then I'm left with um, the negative on the first so solar panel, excuse me, and the positive on the other solar panel, so that way I only have a positive and a negative. And so just make sure you got all your wiring correct before you begin to solder or uh, connect things up. So I'm going to begin to solder and I'll be back once I'm done. 
Okay, so here we go. We're going to solder the uh, positive coming off the battery pack to the positive of the USB terminal. Um, and then that goes to the silver ring side of the diode. So you're just going to solder all the positives together. And no, I'm not a soldering expert, but there you go. It's all, all soldered up and together. So now we're going to solder up our other end. We're going to solder up the positive from the solar panel to the black side of the diode. And here's the, uh, the other stuff, the USB connector and stuff like that. So uh, here we go. Again, I'm no expert, but that's uh, that's how I solder stuff. <laughs> Hopefully, now if everything went well, you should only have three wires left. You should have a negative from the battery pack. You should have a negative from the USB uh, terminal, and you should have a negative from your solar panel. Now all you're going to want to do is solder all three of those negatives together, like so. And we're done soldering. So now that we've got everything connected, it looks a bit like a mess. Um, what you're going to want to do before you put everything in the Altoids tin is take some electrical tape and just tape up all the solder points so we don't get any short circuits. Okay, so now that we've got everything taped up here, you can see um, I'm going to test the volts uh, without any batteries in. So we can see what this circuit here is producing with the solar panels on this nice sunny day. So if I Get her hooked up right here. Oh, hold on. So there you go. Looks like we're producing about four and a half volts uh, with our two solar panels. Granted you might only have one but this one is a 4 volt solar panel so it is making most of the uh, electricity. So that proves that uh, we're, we're getting electricity and then let's put it all in there and finish up. Okay so here she is all done. I uh, got everything taped in there. I glued in a little uh, USB power converter here the 5 volt guy I've got my extra solar panel that you guys didn't need to use um, but I've got it all wired up here and I've got my excess wires right here and I'm just gonna throw my batteries in there quick there we go so that's what it looks like, and I'll show you guys uh, in a second that it doesn't be charged. I'm using my phone to record right now, but uh, here it is all put together. I can put this extra solar panel in here and then close her up, and it's my little portable solar charger. I just taped up the outside here, so it looks a little bit better. And yeah, so I'll show you uh, charging in just a second. I'll go grab my other phone. Hopefully you guys can forgive me here, but my neighbor's mowing in the background. Um, as you can see here, I got it hooked up to the USB device, or the USB cord to uh, the lightning connector at the end. And this is, I'm going to plug in my dad's iPod here. 
it should make a ding when I plug it in and uh, the screen should light up with the little battery icon so hopefully you can see this and there you go you can hear the little ding you can see the battery um, pops up in the bottom left here you should be able to see that and um, so yeah there we go she works uh, everything's good and that's how to make a portable solar USB uh, charging little station for any device. So this has been Isaac from Tac2 signing out. Thanks for watching guys.